It's John Z. Uh, what's up, Crispy Biscuit listeners? DJ Kilo C. Uh, it's a trip to be here, man, on the other end of this microphone because, yeah. as he said uh, when I came in, uh, for a long time I was the radio guy. Uh, yeah, we got, yeah, when I met this cat, <laughs> I was the one, I was on tour, you know what I'm saying, stopping in Nanaimo, BC, and stuff, and uh, he was the guy with the radio. Now he's coming to see me, and I'm the guy with the radio. <laughs> word up, word up, word up. You it's know what awesome I'm to be coming back into this environment. For yeah. Sure. So uh, tell me, what brings you here? What what uh, goodness do you have to lay on the people, information wise, information wise to the whole world? Yeah, my man. Uh, well, I got a workshop that I've coordinated and been working on for the past uh, couple months, and more uh, intensively in the last couple weeks. Where is uh, this workshop? This workshop is uh, going to be at the Vancouver Aboriginal Friendship Center. It's in Vancouver. It is in Vancouver. Okay, just so you know, world, this workshop he's talking about is in Vancouver. Van City. Carry on. And uh, <laughs> it's called Youth Got Skills, and it's the Five Elements of Hip Hop Workshop. And uh, so we're... Let ahead. me just stop you just for a second. Yes. Last time I checked... Hip hop had four elements. Oh my man! If you ever when did they add the new one? Well, if you ask KRS One, there's nine elements involved. Hey man, you know what I'm saying? This crispy biscuit. We're all we're we're here to 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 stimulate uh uh debate talk all that stuff. So that's why I say things like that. Okay. So if there was a fifth element, what what what? Well, many people know, of course, the core core four: b boying, graffiti art. Uh, turntablism and of course rhyming. Uh, the Satanism. Fifth, uh, <laughs> the, the Illuminati. <laughs> it's in there. Uh, Illuminati died out a couple hundred years ago. Like say. <laughs> hey, I'm a Freemason. I got. I got to say this is true. Word straight. I actually was. I actually saw you at the Remembrance Day uh, parade. No, you I didn't. I sure did. I was like, you must have tripped out, dude. I, was, I saw a bunch of senior citizens <laughs> and mocha only <laughs> hovering over them. We're not all senior citizens. <laughs> See, that's the great thing about Freemasonry. We we like from all different walks of life, every race, every religion. It's like all about harmony. But never yes, mind about that. Yes, we'll get yes. to that. I want to hear more about this program that you kicked sure. off. It's a one-day uh, workshop. It's free. Uh, and like I said, it's going to be in Vancouver, uh, 11607 uh, East Hastings. And it's from 10 to 6. Uh, it's during spring break, so the kids are out. And I'm, uh, I'm looking for kids age 12 to 20. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's exclusively for First Nations youth. And we're asking you to come down and have a day spent with us and the facilitators involved uh, to learn all about the aspects of hip-hop, the five elements of hip-hop, uh, the facilitators we got included. Uh, you might have heard of him. His name is Emotions. Uh, yeah. He Shout out to Emotions. Word up. Shout out Holding to Emotions. Holding it down. Keeping that hip-hop flame living. <laughs> Sound vibe. Uh, he could do this workshop on his own. He's pretty much five elements in one character himself. But uh, we got him. He's 25 elements. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and he's really uh, skilled at doing his own workshops. He works with youth all the time himself. So uh, Emotions uh, is going to be taking care of a lot of the rhyming and a lot of the beatboxing element. Uh, we got uh, JB, the first lady. Uh, word up, word up, respect. No doubt she's going to be coming down and uh, doing a lot of the songwriting and, uh, you know, uh, just being a great uh, role model. Uh, we got DJ Allgood uh, from the Nice, Nine. nice, nice. PDP. nice. PDP. Yeah, PDP. He's, uh, he's really is one of my best friends in life, man. Like, me and that guy are uh, Jedi brothers from and the Godmother. He's got skills. Yeah, he's got, a, he's got a DJ uh, ability under his uh, sleeve for sure. So he's going to come and teach uh, the DJ portion. Uh, and then we got B-Boy Lawbreaker. Uh, what are you pointing at there, Mo? Kilo C. Kilo C. <laughs> he will not be there, but I, uh, I wish he would be there and there in spirit, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, DJ, uh, no, what did I say? B-Boy Lawbreaker, he's going to be uh, from Chilliwack, uh, from Brave Step Crew, and um, of course, Def 3 is going to be there as well, uh, hey, doing all the art. Hands. This is a stacked list for, yeah, uh, for the kids, man. And we really just, uh, I want to th thank New Relationship Trust for the f help and funding. Uh, and it's my first time coordinating uh, yeah. a workshop entirely from my own proposal and my own idea. Sure. And I really uh, just want to see something like this uh, come back and bless the, the community. That's what it is, man. It's yeah. the kick back, the get back, with the get back. Word up. Peace, love, unity, and having fun. That's what it's all about. That's and, what and it, it is. It really just gives them a place where they can express themselves creative, creatively without fear of like rejection or anything. We're all there. To oh, I feel them. you. I mean, I've done some workshops in the past and stuff and visited different reservations and all that stuff. And, and, and it's... Uh, yeah, it is fulfilling. It's like you, you see the reaction, getting a, a stimulated talk going and, and mm -hmm. ideas pop up and stuff. And besides, like some places you visit, it's like people have no clue of, of really what goes into being a graffiti writer or per break or MC, DJ or whatever. So We're there to teach the basics to get you started. Uh -huh. and, and we're going to show you some videos. And uh, really, just growing up, I grew up uh, in an era where hip-hop was pretty taboo. 
you know, I didn't have people coming by and, and saying, like, hey, would you like to learn the elements of this? Like, yeah, I had to learn it, it on my own, right? Yeah, it you was know? more like, take those elements, get the hell out of here. Yeah. That's, what, that's what it really was. You were rebellious or you were, you we know. Were, we used to rhyme in people's faces in front of Eaton Center in Victoria, you know what Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. We used to piss people off, wore it up. But what was your influences stretching back then, you know? I mean, like, mm. I, I mean, when you look at that, like, would you have done it differently if maybe mm. you had oh. somebody to show you kind of like the... The basic to begin um, with? Yes and no. I mean, I would have definitely taken some suggestions, which I did by default from listening to my favorite artists, mm -hmm. but I've always been a stubborn guy and, and really, really stubborn. And, and, and just to a T. Mm -hmm. I like to blaze my own trail, you know what I'm saying? Which is why to this day, I'm a hip hop weirdo, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm here to represent the misfits now. For a long time, I've been trying to figure out my place in this hip hop. And it's like I realized, you know what? I can't be this guy. I can't be Mr. Hardcore Rhymer, Mr. Punchline Rhymer. I'm a whimsical, mystical type of misfit representative, so I, I stay in that box. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the beauty of hip hop is that there's no you can there's no saying one way is right or one way is the other. Yeah. You can be whatever you want. But this goes back to what you're talking about is because um, even getting a dialogue like that started with somebody who's curious is of utmost importance because not a lot of people feel that they have the freedom once they entertain or once they enter a, a, a field of learning entertainment they feel like you got to go by some rules and, and do it like this person's doing or that person's like influence is one thing but but being influenced to find your own path is a whole different thing and i think as mentors and taking on positions of mentorship these things need to be stressed, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. every individual is their own universe and has every privilege within them to be able to express what's truly inside of them. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one thing that's not stressed hard enough in hip-hop. It's mm -hmm. too much of competition, competition. Yeah. It's got to be better than this guy, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Competition is limited. Creativity is unlimited. So I appreciate what you're bringing to the table. Mm -hmm. What is knowledge if you can't attain it? Learn from it and pass it on to others. You know what, what good is the goal if you stay below it? No doubt. Why not? So, uh, so no, uh, no doubt. If you want to register, uh, you're a parent listening to this, or you're a brother or a sister, and you got a little cousin or something that you want to get involved, like Mark. I said, I'm looking for ages 12 to 20. Please email johnzader at gmail.com. Johnzader at gmail.com. J O H N Z A D O R at gmail.com. A D O R. Why well, you always say the Z? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong way. <laughs> and uh, and also on Facebook, you can search uh, just Youth Got Skills. Word That'll up. be the first thing to pop up. So thank you guys for the Man, time. Man, thanks for having me through. Absolutely. <laughs> thanks for having me through. <laughs> thanks for coming through. <laughs> it's up. the way it is. You know also, check out SplitBreaks.com. Yeah, 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 we yeah, up yeah. in this. Yeah. All right, Crispy Biscuit. You know what I'm saying? You heard it first. Come out and support. Word up.